Hello everybody, my name is Dude Man, and welcome to another update video. And uh, before I uh, start things off, uh, right now you are watching a uh, Balloons Monkey City recording at the moment. And uh, this is contested territory, and uh, the highest level I was able to get was round 100. This is actually an old recording though. I mean, it's not, the, not really much of a hard map, but it's actually it's very difficult to actually come up with this setup, so round 100. You can see how many freaking farms I'm trying to put in. I think I was able to at least get one more farm, I think, maybe? I'm not sure. But whatever, I was able to get to round 100. One of the hardest things to do in this game, to be honest, um, if you don't know what you're doing. But um, this took about like two hours, three hours to record. I used Camtasia, obviously. So. Yeah. And the thing is, when you get further and further in this game, or in this test territory, uh, the, the Moabs had a. I was thinking about well, what should I do next year to stop the balloons. But uh, when you get farther and farther into the territory, the Moab balloons, like, oh my god, BFPs, Moabs, and stuff, they get tougher and they get faster. And um, I can tell you, like, five coins and I can. But yes, the Moab class balloons get tougher and tougher the farther you get, which makes it increasingly more harder and shit than five. But yes, I was able to get to round 100, which was pretty insane. I think that was like my first time getting to round 100. Uh, the second time I was uh, doing this, I ended up getting to round 78 because I really, uh, I was making a Temple of the Monkey God and I had Sun God next to my mortars and I really forgot to sell the mortars and then get a temple and then buy rebuy the mortars again, which was an accident. <laughs> so I was trying to survive as long as possible, and I ended up dying on round 38. Stuff. But this is the second time, and I was able to get again to round 100 and stuff. So yes, yeah, so and there's this. Oh my god, not too tough. Uh, we'll have mollies and stuff. So. All right, so that now that's out of the way. Um, the things I want to talk about. Uh, Soon, well, since Laron finally got internet, we will be able to be uh, recording more things like uh, Minecraft, obviously, more things like Seven Days to Die. We will be able to, uh, we're going to be recording for that again soon. But uh, we're going to be mainly recording for Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC, which is going to be really, really fun and stuff, and a lot of funny moments and stuff. A lot, of, a lot of funny things on there. Good stuff, so it's gonna be really fun. And, um, so, yeah, um, see some other things. Um, Conquer, he happens to be like one of the guys that plays in the GTA 5 video that I'm gonna be uploading soon. Not sure if it's gonna be today, but possibly today. Um, but yes, he's uh, one of the guys that plays with us and stuff. He was in Dying, or Seven Days of Dying stuff. But he plans on, on, wanted to record, and I said, probably record a uh, Kerbal Space Program because, well, you, he happens to like that game a lot and I thought it would be a pretty good start for him, you know. Who knows? So, again, um, someday he will want to uh, record stuff, so, which I really would like to see and stuff. So I'd like for this channel to be some type of uh, group type of channel. At first it was just me because, uh, well, couple of my, or learn on my friend wasn't that much recording back then because of family and all this stuff so I ended up having to do it all myself so but yes um this channel was mainly supposed to be as some type of friend like group type of channel all three of us and stuff and as soon as it's gonna be like that soon but at the moment it's, it's uh we're just starting to get things going and stuff so as you can see there, there's a ton of towers there, and you're wondering, like, why is there so many random towers there in that sun god? Well, technically, I'm making the Temple of the Monkey God a, uh, at least a powerful one, because the more powerful towers you have um, near the tower, the more powerful the sun Temple of the Monkey God will be. Um, I think the max, the max temple is about $30,000, I think. Yeah, I think it is $30,000. I'm not sure if I actually got $30,000 there, I just... Put at least three towers of um, random towers, I guess. Not much random, but three towers and stuff. 
I should have put a can in, it's able to shoot like golden missile stuff that are very powerful. So I should have done that, but oh well. So then I'm working on now I'm working on my second uh Temple of Monkey God stuff. Around round 46. So yes, I end up skipping I think at round 60 or something. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Now, um, I'm trying to find some more things to record on Steam, but not that much. I was thinking, there was this one game called Dig or Die, but that game is not much of a, not really all that interesting by, by my opinion. But again, uh, yes, uh, for Minecraft, um, I've been kind of getting bored with Minecraft lately, it's just, I one of the things that I'm mainly doing most of the time on my channel is just kind of a little bit tiring and stuff, so I might end up taking a break from that and focus on balloons um, footage. I mean, if you like and if you enjoy watching people get to round 100 and contested territory, I could try and do that every now and then. But don't get, but don't guarantee that. Like right here, I'm just trying to. I'm struggling at the moment because that one's oh my god was going twice as fast. I mean, twice, but a little bit more faster than the other ones. And I even used, uh, what was it? Uh, balloon sabotage and stuff, and it still didn't affect it. So I, he was almost able to get through, and I was, uh, I was so fucking mad if he was gonna get through. I would be so mad. I think I was able to stop it before then. And then I end up sometimes using the artillery battery because uh, sometimes I threw it and stuff. You know, the balloon sabotage uh, ability doesn't work for some reason. Sometimes it doesn't affect all the balloons like it's supposed to. But yes. So yeah. Um, again, if you like, it's like seeing footage like this of in round 100 and stuff. I'll try and do more of this. I like doing this. This was fun. But a really, uh, really time-consuming stuff. So, because <laughs> when you get into layer rounds, it lags. It lags a lot, and I have a really good computer too. Like, I don't remember the specs, but I know it's a really good computer that can that's able to handle BF Battlefield 4 and GTA 5 just fine. You know. So, but of course, this, this is a flash game, so it you know, what you're gonna expect lag and stuff. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the balloons, um, uh, gameplay for Bruce Beach D5. Balloons. balloons Tower Defense 5, I always say Beach D5, that's not, that's not correct. <laughs> and as you can see, to those, those, uh, black web balloons, um, those aren't in, um, Balloons Tower Defense 5, those things are called and they are the worst balloon in the game. They're worse than free grows. <laughs> as you can see, they are just as fast as pinks, and they are, uh, yes, they're fast as pinks. They're lead type balloon. Like the other ones, like the oh my god, the BFB mobs, they're art. But they're lead type, and um, they're also black type. So towers that don't have the monkey and bureau type of upgrade in the village. They can't pop it or even do any damage whatsoever. So you're gonna have to get the monkey bureau or something else, or use a spike right here, of course, to take them down. So, so yes, they're very, very, very difficult. But once you have a good strategy, they're not all that hard. So, so yes, they're like the deadliest thing ever. <laughs> and I'm not surprised that they ever put these blue, that Moab blue and in it. Blue is hard defense five. Whatever. Later rounds, like more and more of them come and get faster and faster. As you can see there, I finally have a third temple to fucking got. I'm about to start working on my fourth. As, as you can see there, I have a, I have a couple of engineers. Uh, zero four engineers, I think. Yeah, I have a zero four engineers. Because uh, their ability, they're able to um, superpower the towers, and that's what I, that's exactly what I do with my temple to fucking gods. So be more powerful. So right now it's kind of overkill at the moment, but. When we get late into later rounds, it's not all that effective anymore. I mean, it's, it's effective, but not as much as it used to be. So, so. yeah, it's more and more. Oh my God! So, um, I wonder if else I should talk about. Um, there is a new mod pack. 
that focus heavy, heavily on Thomcraft, and it's kind of cool. It's like the the world generation. It's um, the world, there's this thing in Thomcraft that's called paint, and I think, it's called, I think it, that the, there's biomes from Thomcraft called tainted biomes that end up spreading to other biomes and infecting them with this purple-like stuff, which happens to be like, like some type of uh, the evil side of magic, I guess. Very deadly, and the end of uh, you spawn in a world that is all completely covered in taint, <laughs> and it's crazy. And um, you try to survive in, like, in a world that's been affected by it. So I don't know. I might end up recording that after regrowth. I know I'm working on I think uh, regarding skies too, but at the moment I'm just getting sick and tired of the sky block, you know thing. It's just getting tiring, it's just... It's not all that funny anymore. I kinda wish they, she went with the different route for a guy in Skies too, but... Whatever, it's just... Much... I'm just getting kinda sick and tired of doing Skyblocks. That's kinda the reason why I stopped doing vanilla survival maps, because most of them focused on Skyblock type of gameplay. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, I'm gonna probably take a break on that one. Maybe, I, I'm not sure I'm gonna go back to that mod pack. Who knows? Um, let's see what else is there. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Uh, by the way, for GTA 5, I think the most mostly we're going to be recording for is the heist and stuff. We have nothing else to do for, like, run out of heist and stuff. We'll end up um, doing random things, I guess. As you can see here, I'm, out, I'm starting to run out of towers for the Temple Monkey God to be powerful. I sh you don't need to have only three of each tower. You can have more than three of each tower. Just, huh. I just didn't think of that at the moment until I was kind of panicking at the moment. So, so yeah, it gets really, really chaotic and stuff. And there is the fourth temple of the monkey god. I'm not sure. It's not really all that powerful as the other ones, but I know some. <laughs> I think I can actually get one more, but. Of course, I don't know where else to put it. So. See how fast is it that's going? Right now, it's starting to lag a lot more. And it's starting to uh, go to normal speed soon. <laughs> because right now, I have the footage and put to 500 speed stuff. So I have that Temple of the Monkey God on the top right corner. I have that put to last. So we can take do enough damage to the balloons behind... Uh, for the balloons that are behind the stuff. So, that was the pretty good strategy and stuff there. And the snipers. I have uh, zero four snipers so I can get like 20 crates coming every now and then. So that's a very good strategy. Make sure you do that because soon you're gonna, soon you're not gonna have enough um, enough room for uh, banana farms and stuff. So yeah, make sure you get zero four snipers. Even the DTs right now, I have four Temple Monkey guys, and they're all super powered. The DTs have no chance of being able to get through at the moment, <laughs> so it's pretty cool. And I also have them like perfectly lined up to where they will be shooting down a straight path too, with those, you know, those little windy paths and stuff. I, w I really wasn't like planning on having to do that or planning on placing them like that, but I guess I got some lucky stuff. Let me uh, skip ahead here and I'll be right Okay, we uh, end up skipping to round 84. I kind of thought I ended up cutting the footage to round 90, but I'm really, um... But uh, the next round, I think I do end up cutting around 90. But yes, as you can see, I have now... I grab a lot of stuff and you can barely see anything. <laughs> I ended up putting um, a ton of dart monkeys so I can have at least a couple of uh, super monkey fan clubs and stuff. Uh, I really don't see that doing all that much anymore. And I'm using a bunch of uh, spike factories. I think it was two for spike factories and stuff. And if you can see their um, the villages, they're, they are four, I think four one. Warned villages as well, so they're able to attack. And it'll 
those lasers actually are pretty damn powerful. But I'm not sure if they're really doing anything at the moment. <laughs> so, yeah, everything is just chaotic. I barely see anything going on right now. So, yes, we are now on round 90. Again, this took forever. And I put this thing up to 700. And it seems like it's going on normal speed. It is that crazy. Um, by the way, uh, if you see the video lagging a little bit, it's not the video. It's actually the game lagging because I end up spamming the the spike factory ability that shoots such crap ton of spikes all over the track. I end up trying to click it like a crap ton of times that it ends up making it lag a lot. And for some reason, uh, when you I just did it again. Like if you click it like really fast, it ends up lagging, and it still counts as you click the button and stuff. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird glitch in the game, but I'm not sure if it's ever fixed. But I have to sell them and rebuy them because these. If I didn't use these, I don't think I would have been able to get as far as I could. And now I'm on round 100. Again, it took forever, and you can see those. I don't think I even superpowered my temple. There we go, we did. We did finally. And yet, it is still barely doing anything. Oh my god, so I'm using my artillery. There goes the lag again. But I am using the artillery battery like a crap ton so it can stop this. Oh my god, slow them down as fast as possible. Or as much as possible. Oh my god. As much as possible. And it's lagging like crazy. I, that was my folder for music stuff. <laughs> so. Yes, it's lagging like crazy because there is a crap ton of spikes on the track. And um, I almost ended up crashing because I did it so much, like it almost froze. I was like, no, I don't want to start over again. So this is where I start spamming my artillery uh, battery ability. because They're getting pretty damn far and they're barely being damaged at all. So, so <laughs> all you see is explosions. You see in the bottom left corner, you can see me like selling and buying the delivery battery as fast as possible too. So, yeah, um, so yeah, a lot of things are gonna be happening on the channel. So, I can't wait to get started and stuff with uh, more things and, and all that cool stuff. So, <laughs> I end up doing that just for whatever's and stuff. So, anyways, guys, my name is Dude Man, and uh, guys. So anyways, see you guys later. Bye.